I started working for Autoblack. And after being here a few months, I had made you know, a, a new design for a new kind of prosthetic foot. And we had an amputee in, and he tried the foot for the first time and walked down the hall. And just the look on his face and the experience of seeing this thing that I had made be used by somebody that needed it to get around in their daily life is just, I don't know if it's a feeling I can really describe. You know, yes, it's, it's satisfaction and yes, it's rewarding, but it's kind of a bigger feeling than that. Basically, you never look back after that happens. I'll find myself in many cases hiking up the side of a mountain and mentally noting what muscles are being triggered when I'm doing these different activities. It's a natural tendency for me to think about how our muscles are working and how our bones are working and how that would or could be replicated with a prosthesis. You can't schedule innovation, you can't schedule creativity. Uh, you have to live in a world where it can thrive. I feel like if I take a look at maybe a piece of equipment or anything to do with, you know, any materialistic type of things, I sometimes wander off in my own head about something like how, how that works and how it functions and how it's built. I think about work as I'm coming to work, while I'm here at work, and as I go home. I, I'm always thinking about what I need to do on my next task. Because we think all day long about how do we recreate, to some extent, at least the function of a body part, not being able to really recreate a body part. It's made me much more aware of those parts of my body that I have and what are they doing. And then, of course, that does sort of work as a feedback loop because then when I'm back in the office the next day, it's like, oh yeah, remember when you stepped on that rock, your ankle went like this? Well, does, can the prosthetic foot do that? You know, how is a amputee going to respond when they go through the, that same condition, whether it's running up a hill or sliding across the gravel or whatever that incident might have been, jumping across the rattlesnake. Failure, failure is part of life. There is so much that you can gain from failure. Failure is something we deal with every day, and it's just part of our jobs. You're always going to fail. The first time you try something, most likely it's not going to work. I used to have a super, super hard time with that, like really hard time with failing at anything, because I try to be a perfectionist all the time, which is a horrible way to live. Failure is great. We love failure. Failure gives us an opportunity to learn, and by failing many, many times, we learn a lot of information and that all gets translated into the end products that we're developing. So it's something we're very conscious of and we really try to integrate into the way we work is celebrating the things that don't work, not just the things that work. We work very closely with the amputees and to take a product from um, a concept to realization and, and then to watch them basically get their freedom back, it's, it's great. We all enjoy working with the amputees. There's, there's a lot of satisfaction in that. At my two previous lives working, one was a greedy, greedy, greedy industry, which is just, I don't know, you don't feel good about yourself. But here it's, it's sort of you, you take what you know in practice, like you take your skill set that you have and you apply it to something that actually betters somebody's life, and that's a totally different way of thinking for me. So the fulfilling part of that is that I, the things that I work on directly impact someone's life in a positive way. About a year ago, I got to work directly with a patient. His amputation was at about nine years old, and he's now in his 40s. He had not been able to run once during that entire period of his life and got to work directly with him and a prosthetist for testing out these new components to connect those two pieces of equipment. And he got to run for the first time in 30 years. And just the look on his face was absolutely priceless. After the first 50-yard sprint that he got to do, it was uh, 
it, it was a really good feeling to be able to give that that opportunity to somebody. The one thing that uh, we all take for granted, getting out of bed every morning. If you are an amputee, that is a challenge to get out of bed every morning. Knowing that people need us like that is, is very rewarding to be able to do that. It's gratifying.